Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's been a while since my last video, July I think. I've been out of the UK for a while. So now I'm back, I wanted to make this video looking ahead to the next six to 12 months. Um, I'm gonna start with the astrology and then I've pulled a few cards that I'll talk you through as well. I'm filming outside today for some peace and quiet, but um, I'll just talk you through the cards that I pulled. Okay, so with the astrology, the main thing to know at the moment is all the retrogrades. All of the planets just about except Mars are retrograde at the moment, which means going backwards. So quick rundown, we've got Mercury retrograde in Virgo until the 16th of September. And be aware that doesn't leave shadow until the 30th of September. That's when it really starts moving forwards in new territory. We've got Venus retrograde in Leo, but just until tomorrow, the 4th of September, but then it's still in shadow till the 4th of October. We've got Jupiter going retrograde in Taurus on the 5th of September um, until the 31st of December. Saturn's retrograde in Pisces has been since the 7th of June and it goes direct on the 4th of November. Uranus is retrograde in Taurus um, from the 29th of August and then direct on the 27th of January 2024. Neptune's retrograde in Pisces and it goes direct on the 7th of December and Pluto's retrograde in Aquarius um, and that goes direct on the 11th of October in Capricorn, then direct into Aquarius um, on the 22nd of January. And then it's out of its shadow and clearly direct from the 2nd of February 2023. So that's the last of these planets to be going fully direct. So the next six months, we're kind of, we're in the depth of the retrogrades at the moment. And over the next six months, they start to go forwards. And it's going to feel like that in life as well. So with all these retrogrades, it means it's a time for reflection, review, reassessment. You may feel like you just want to get on with things and you thought you'd have made a new fresh start in something by now. It could be very frustrating, but bear with the process because it will uncover more. Um, if you use these retrogrades, you can, you know, make time for yourself each day. If you can take five, ten minutes out each day just to clear your mind and reflect on things, you'll see things that you've perhaps missed or look deeper at things. Um, you might have thought you knew exactly what you thought about something or what you wanted from something or exactly what was going on in a situation, but this is a chance to discover more and arm yourself with more information and insights so that when you do move forward, um, kind of starting in October, but really it gets going kind of next year, January, um, then you're more fully aware of the context and the whole situation and your best options. So yeah, reevaluate things over the next few months. Just accept, you know, it's a time to take things a bit more slowly, not to do nothing and not to stop doing things, but just keep an open mind. Um, okay, there's more, there's more clarity to come. Okay, um, so yeah, October, brings the eclipses as well so that's a big kind of shift really October um, with the eclipses and with Pluto Mercury and Venus going forwards you will start to see that forwards movement but um, like I say it's a process over a few months so that's the main thing in the astrology um, with the cards I pulled so I was in Watkins bookshop in central London yesterday um, really interesting place to visit and they have a lot of decks of cards and samples that you can just have a look at. So I was playing around with some of them and the card I pulled I want to share with you. It is one I've pulled before and it's a concept I tend to overlook but obviously it's important because it's come out twice. I can't remember the name of the deck but the card was called Knowledge and the phrase on that was, let me connect above and below, let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So it's a reminder about the knowledge of the ancestors and whatever that means to you, really ancestors is just that kind of spiritual force um, 
that you feel but don't necessarily see. Maybe you refer to it as spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors. So what it's saying is to listen to their messages at the moment. Um, remember that they're with you. You're not alone. They are with you. Talk to them, communicate with them. Use your intuition to listen to them and to remember that they are there to support and to guide you through this time. The other card I pulled, and I pulled it again today, was the Ace of Pentacles, sometimes called the Ace of Coins. So that points to a new start, and that could be the new start you're sort of working towards after all these retrogrades. Um, by the way, I did also pull the Ace of Wands and the Fool today, which are all cards about new beginnings. So... Um, Ace of Wands and actually Ace of Coins could be about a new job, new enterprise, new business venture, new opportunity, new projects, and they're very optimistic cards. Um, they point towards success. So it's the hand of God reaching out the wand or the coin. It's up to you whether you take it or not, but it's saying that the opportunity for that fresh new start will be there. And especially with the Fool card, which is Major Arcana, the Fool is the like card zero, the very beginning of a new journey or a new start, a new cycle, um, symbolic of a new path, setting off on a new journey. So use these retrogrades to really reflect and plan and review. And then, you know, for anyone who wants that new start, it's there for the taking um, when the time is right. So they're the main messages at the moment. As I said, that's quite a long range forecast. I feel like it covers the next six to 12 months. I will be back before then with more just insights and readings and just thoughts, but I'll leave you with that today. Hope it's useful and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.